Welcome back, folks, to some more Curse of Monkey Island. We just had a small reunion with Lemonhead from Monkey Island 1, part of the Voodoo tribe of cannibals. Voodoo cannibals and shit. They fucking eat people. Let's see here, let's work on this remedy for the bartender. Get us a big old hunk of cheese. this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Eggs. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. Take the rest. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Uh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, hard times have befallen the family good soup and left me alone in this rotting hotel. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. What do you know about the Lost Ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great aunt, Minnie Stroney of Good Soup, was a well-to-do member of Blood Island Society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates, one in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family too. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, Chowderhead. Uh, hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Oh, crud. <laughs> How's business? Oh, I need another drink. Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My only regular is a spooky old fortune teller who gives everyone the creeps. Uh, no offense, Madam Zima. A pax on your firstborn! Mm, yes, right. What happened to all the guests? After the place started to run down, they all checked out. All except for one. The guests that never left. Is this going to be scary? Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel, each followed by the most horrible screaming and cursing. Then, one night, the sounds just stopped, but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning. I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter that hateful place again. Why don't you try to liven the place up a little? Well, that's quite a story. 
Years ago, this hotel was one of the hottest destinations in the Caribbean. People came from around the globe to see our world-famous dinner show. You may have noticed the oddly shaped barbecue out on the patio. Yes, I did notice that. Well, that barbecue was the centerpiece of our nightly entertainment. Isn't a barbecue the central attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities? Oh, maybe, but no one else had a barbecue like this one. Every night the guests would gather round on the patio and at precisely six o'clock. They'd all whip out their cocks and have a bukkake party. You'd make chewy, delicious s'mores? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm fascinated. Please go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt and the lava would flow down the side of the mountain and into the special trough that runs beneath the barbecue. The guests absolutely loved it. Isn't that some kind of fire hazard? Well, we'd get a case of severe third-degree burns every now and then, but everybody agreed that it was worth it. That volcano was a showstopper. One day, the volcano just inexplicably stopped erupting. Without our main attraction, the resort just lost its appeal. We've gone downhill ever since, and the volcano hasn't erupted to this day. Tragic. Would you let me into the guest room upstairs? No, it is locked for a reason. Let no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. Eh, hey, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. It's a delicious taste of the islands. Made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Yuck! Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go on my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. Ouch! Here's your glass back. That jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was going to put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm going to have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I can see the hallway. Good for you, Guybrush. Good for you. Whoopsie. I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. What? It's locked. Just like Good Soup said. Here! Did you just take my mirror? No. Nope. You're lying, aren't you? Yes. Put it back. All right, all right. Sheesh, what a grouch. 
What was that? Nothing. Said, fuck you, dick licker. There, I've cut out the face. You just stole that mirror, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's right there, look. Hmm, I guess you're right. Oh dear, I'm starting to look old. From all that drinking. Mind your own business. That guy's pretty retarded. Like most of the people I deal with at work all day. Come back to the ghost room later. Let's get out of here. This fat bitch is starting to stir disturb me. Let's head on over to the windmill. I believe we have some things we can do there. Not there. The windmill. Let's see how to get a hang on the windmill blades. Let's try this out. Oh, would you looky there? Work like a champ. What the shit? Fermenting sugar water used. It's full of sugar water now. Just walk over here so he won't see me put this on. Gabra's tofu head. Ick. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis, accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose, free of all fat and trans fatty acids, so that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village, and not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss it in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you, and good night. Banana head, pineapple head, and shit head. Oh no, they're cinnamon head. There you go, you lactose intolerant you bastard. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You've brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! Volcano's about to shit lava. Sweet. Wow. 
Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Here, Haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it. All right. We've got some lotion. Now we just need to find a nice quiet place to put it to you. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to use that for something else. Some sea water while we're here. You never know when you need the taste of the sea. It's full of seawater. Good for you, asshole. This slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. The cursed ring exploded! Uh oh, whoops. There, I poked holes in it. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Bet that water sure tastes good. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. Mmm, no. All right, now we got a little homemade lantern. Let's talk to the mysterious figure. Kind of reminds me of Charon, fairy men of the dead. Who are you? I, I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. For too long have I rocked in that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again until I'm sure I can make it there safely. I need a compass. How will being able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull Island? Not that kind of compass. The directional kind. <laughs> if you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. I won't find one, but we might be able to make one with our MacGyver-sized inventory here. Let's see, what can we use? What to use? What to fucking use? Let's take this refrigerator magnet and stick it up his ass. Cool, a magnetic pin! 
The mind boggles at the possibilities. Now we have a magnetic pin. I don't want to pin that. I can't pull the cork out with my hands. Let me get that cork out. Let's try to bite it out. There we go. Okay. All right, now we have a cork with a magnetized needle through it. We use that on the Hey, seawater. neat, it points north. Science is fun when you know the secret. And here's our compass. Here, take this compass. This is a compass. Will it work? Of course, see how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? Eh, it was nothing. Not gonna leave quite yet. Gonna do a bit more exploring before I leave. There's someone in there. Need to die to get into that crypt. But how to do that? I'd like a drink, please. Sure, sure. That opened it. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. Do it! If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull! In other words, make sure you mix alcohol and medication, children. It'll knock you the fuck That's out. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... I'm tripping in balls. In fact, I feel, uh... So then the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer. But I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. Well, folks, that's it. The end of hey. the Curse of Monkey Island. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Nope, never mind. That's the end really of the dead. game. Thanks for watching. Oh, come on. Cut it out. Just kidding. So funny, so, so funny.
yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. Ready for another reunion? Who else could it be? Who sold coffins in part two? It could be none other than... None other than... None other than... Stan! Phew, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there. Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes, well... Uh... Of course, Guybrush Threepwood. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son, but live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Mm -hmm. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense! This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. I thought he was gonna never shut the fuck up. Hi guys, I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine, be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, huh? Uncle Griswold, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? Wonton. Wonton? I spent several years in the Orient. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? No, you don't look much like a good soup at all. In fact, you look more like one of the broths, child. They always did have weak features. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Every day I wander the good soup family hall of portraits and give my respects to each of my distinguished ancestors. Every distinguishing feature of the Good Soup family is there in those pictures, and I see nothing in any of those portraits that might remind me of you. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Let's try the good old credit card business card trick on the door. I guess I'm better at this pirating thing than I thought. 
fucking worked. Sweet. Let's see what's behind the door in the next video.